food and protection of food in this lesson we are going to learn about food and its protection living things need food to survive some living things can make their own food animals cannot make their own food so they have to depend on other living things plants or animals for food in this lesson we are going to learn food and its protection diet forms an important aspect of our lives we all know the saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away in order to keep doctor away your diet must include the following five components one carbohydrates second proteins three fats fourth vitamins and five minerals roughage and water carbohydrates carbohydrates include starch sugars and fibrous substance rice wheat corn bajra jowar are cereals cereals contain plenty of starch and small quantities of proteins and fats cereals provide the body with the energy it needs which is why chapatis bhakris rice are important items of our daily diet they contain sugars like fructose sucrose glucose and lactose which make energy available all carbohydrates are reduced to glucose during digestion and glucose is supplied through the blood to all parts of the body now prote now proteins proteins play an important role in the building of the body we get proteins from dals like arhar chana moong moat soya moat soya as well as from animal products like milk eggs fish and meat proteins are basically carbon compounds that is organic substances which contain nitrogen enzymes which facilitate various biochemical processes are basically proteins dna and rna which determine the inherited characteristics of an organism are substances that contain nitrogen thus to make the necessary nitrogenous compounds available to living things proteins must be included in their diet fats we get fatty substances like oil fats fatty acids etc from oil seeds butter and ghee are also fats digestion of fats generates energy fats also provide some vitamins during digestion fat is broken up into glycerol and fatty acids fatty acids are supplied to all parts of the body through the blood and are used there for producing the energy fibrous substances fruits and leafy vegetables contain a fibrous substance called cellulose cellulose does not give us energy it helps in forming the stools and thus expelling the undigested waste part of the food vitamins vitamins play a very important part in all life processes the disorders caused by the deficiency of vitamins are given in brief in the following table along with the sources of vitamins protecting food various measures are adopted to preserve food grains so that they can be made available whenever they are needed in this process of preservation the quality of food has also to be maintained various methods are used to preserve the food first preserving grains grains are mainly dried to preserve them when the water content of the grain is reduced they last longer sun drying storing in a dry place keeping pest like mice and rats away from the places of storage using neem leaves or pesticides to protect the grain from the insects 
are some of the methods of protecting the grain. Grain gets wasted if it is not properly handled or stored. Tons of grains are wasted if it is attacked by insects or mice and rats. Preserving food Cooked food gets spoiled quickly by the growth of microorganisms in it. That is why we have to boil foods like milk, soups and curries from time to time. Use of refrigerators The growth of microorganisms depends upon temperature. If food is preserved at low temperatures, it lasts longer and better. In a cool place, leafy vegetables remain fresh for a long time. To preserve leafy vegetables, fruits, cooked food, it is very necessary to store them at low temperatures. Microorganisms cannot grow at the temperature inside a refrigerator that is at 5 degrees Celsius and food remains safe in it. Nowadays, to prevent wastage of potatoes and onions due to sprouting, they are treated with gamma rays. For storage on a large scale, cold stores are used. To preserve milk from getting spoiled, it is first heated to a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius to destroy any microorganisms in it and then cooled quickly. This process is called pasteurization. Fruits and vegetables are also kept in cold stores. However, they get spoiled if the warehouses are not maintained properly. Jams or pickles get spoiled if their jars are not properly sealed or if they do not contain the right proportion of sugar or salt. My microorganisms from air enter the jars and fungus grew on them. All of us should make efforts to preserve food and prevent the wastages. To prevent wastage of food, we can use various methods such as drying, boiling, storing at low temperature, candying, salting and pasteurization. Besides, Certain chemical preservatives can also be used to prevent spoilage of food. Some chemical preservatives are sodium metabisulfate, citric acid, boric acid and acetic acid or vinegar. Detecting adulteration of food. It is necessary that we eat only safe food. However, we sometimes get adulterate foodstuffs. We must be very alert while buying any food items. Adulteration can be detected by simple method. If we eat adulterate food, we are at the risk of falling ill. It is an offense to adulterate foodstuffs. To prevent adulteration of food, it is inspected by the Food and Drug Administration Department. Summary Food consists of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, as well as minerals and vitamins. Various measures are adopted to preserve the freshness of food. Various methods can be used to prevent wastage of food due to spoiling. Certain chemical preservatives are also used for the purpose. Food items may be adulterated. There are simple methods to detect adulteration of food. So that is all in this lesson. Eat healthy and stay fit. Learning surely is a great experience students. So keep learning.